Dustin. All right, guys. So I am Dustin with Road Trip Adventure. And I'm Wes, Transcend Existence. Chris, the off grid schoolie. So obviously, this is a bus that you haven't seen any of us in. And actually, nobody's really seen this bus. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had a few clippets slip out here and there, but other than that, what is this bus? <clears throat> ZEP3? Is that what we're going with? This is ZEP3. Well, the code name ZEP3, the real name's apparently Alana. The Alana bus. <laughs> this, this is Alana. I think it's officially Alana. I like it. I like it. Okay. So this is a little side project bus. Yeah. Yeah. And that's basically all I want to talk about today. We, I met these two basically at Schooly Palooza. I had met Chris last year at another tiny home uh, festival, met Wes at Schooly Palooza 2020. And kind of hit it off, I would say. Like, yeah, we're totally. We're made, made, made friends. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. For sure. And so you guys were going to work on a bus. And I was like, oh, man, I, I like working on a bus. So I <laughs> kind of just came over here and, and, and decided that to help with this bus. And <laughs> realistically, that's how it went down. We just kind of pulled up and started pulling tools out and got to work. Yeah, he, he pushed his way in. Yeah. <laughs> and it turned out great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's kind of how it is out, out here. It is. In, in Ehrenberg, for sure. Because even all last year, his, how many projects we work on out here there's a lot of people bringing the rigs out a lot of whether it be actually physical work or online work like yeah aubrey starting mm -hmm. her leather business mm -hmm. people getting newsletters started it just it's a collaborative space out here it always has been. that's why i love coming out here yeah we've always just kind of helped each other do whatever it might be last year help tio adventura yeah. you know with their fuel tank they had a fuel yeah. leak and now they got a van. and I and a couple other people, we all got together and pulled it out and welded it up and put it back in and it was great. That's so, awesome. Yeah, we just, we just like to help each other for sure. And that's kind of been our topic of conversation a lot as we put this bus together was everybody was kind of on a, you know, we're all trying to do things. We're all trying to kind of move forward and, and, and just we're all kind of inspired by the next guy and who's doing this and helping there and, and, and what Tanya and I like to preach is spreading love. And, and there's been a ton of love spread here while we, while we built this bus. Yeah, for sure. Um, Chris, you bought this bus and you had an idea for it. And the three of us kind of just brought it all together rather quickly. Well, yeah. truthfully, I just ordered the stuff and you guys were the ones really working on it yeah well i mean you were out here yeah yeah I, mean, I, was, I was filming every once in a while you know yeah. but no this this is definitely you, you come up with the floor plan right sure. yeah right but it's it's more kind of what i was getting at is it's mm -hmm. kind of like going back to like everybody helping like people have their certain roles that i've found in this lifestyle like somebody might be good at this somebody might yeah. be good at that but gotcha. it's bringing people together to be able to pull things off that most people aren't able to do like we're like in your video like just having this lifestyle just frees you up to not have to go to a job that you don't want to do it's like okay so now i have this day i'm free to do what i want and it just gives you the opportunity to have people come together for something like this like the the cabinet over there was 100 percent your idea yeah you know like it just came out like that and you guys pulled it off really well it looks absolutely amazing and there's so many small things with this bus it's like that like people add their own thing yeah and using this bus is like a like an example, like a catalyst, that's kind of the lifestyle in general, is this this bus. Like people have their different things they provide, which comes together for something that will allow other people to travel or live vicariously, whether it be a vlog or reading a newsletter or whatever. Yeah, yeah or seeing us on the road. How many times do you stop at a gas station and somebody's man, you live in there? Can I see inside of it? I mean we've all we've all been there. So the, yeah, this uh this whole team thing is kind of cheesy, but team stands for together. Everyone achieves more. Oh, that's sure. Absolutely. And it's kind of cheesy, but it's so true. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. like really cool. And I know this may again sound cheesy, but <laughs> cheesy to together. No, like we not only built this bus, dude, but you switched out the shower in your bus. Yeah. Um, we did the floor. The ceiling, some cabinets, some <laughs> yeah, built out. Your rear bus is really close to being. Pretty, yeah, pretty much it looks so much well. different now. It looks so yeah. much better. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it just like, but all of that happened because this <clears throat> happened. You know what I mean? Like this bus kind of brought all of well, it, us especially brought us over here, and in turn ended up putting us exactly where we are now. For sure. 
Um, and that's, you know, that's exactly, you know, we've talked about it, we've talked about it, but, but yeah, bringing people together, inspiring others. And that's really, yeah, like you said, exactly what this bus was. I had this idea from my bus, you had that idea from your bus, and we all collaborated and got it together. I had some hand tools, you had some power tools, and realistically, we're in the middle of nowhere using some battery powered tools, either battery from solar or battery from 18 volt tools. Right. And together, the three of us had enough stuff and enough know-how and enough will to throw this bus together and do a bunch of other cool projects. Yeah, another bus coming too. Yeah, is that four? Is that four? Is that or Alana four? too. Uh, <laughs> this, this, like, so basically with the way that this bus will be used, I have to set up LLCs. So I think the LLC will actually be set up as ZEP3, but the name on the bus, whether we get somebody to ride it or as somebody gets it, will be the Alana bus, you know, like the, the actual public name will be Alana. Mm -hmm. The next bus will be ZEP4 and whatever name that gets just organic. Whatever we're feeling. Yeah. Well, that's cool for you to name it that. That's awesome. Well, West, I, I, West, I don't think I have a choice anymore. She wrote her name everywhere <laughs> around right. here. West, <laughs> West, tell us why it's the Alana bus. So my girlfriend's daughter's name is Alana, and she was in here, and she said that we need to name this bus Alana. And yeah. she wrote her name underneath the bed, and uh, it's official, I guess. Yeah, so. it was super cute, and and that's right. that's part of what's cool too. There's kids running around, there's literally goats running around, and a and a bird, <laughs> and, and some cats, and, and kids, and and people. We had a birthday party. We've had you know sunsets and sunrises. We're drinking coffee. We're making food. Lily's bre baking bread from from bricks of happiness, and, and and truly, like, there's not been one bad word spoke. There's not been one, you know, a blowout or anything. It's just truly just love here and and creativity and and making things, and and that's. It's community. Yeah, it's community, it's man. A real community. A real community. Not like what you we I, I had to stick some bricks home, dude. I hated my neighbor. Her dog was always in my yard chasing my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but here you kind of you kind of leave in a bus to kind of do your own thing. And oddly enough, we end up in a community of like-minded people exactly. parked ten feet from each other. Yeah, you do, you do it to kind of get away from normal society, and then you find tribe out here, and it's like yeah. really cool. Yeah, you have to pick your pick yeah. your neighbors and go where you want. Yeah. yeah. So that's really all I wanted to capture here was just the, the pure together we were able to do this. Wes, what was your favorite part of building this bus? I think just working, working with you was great, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's any physical aspect, but just, yeah. just the way we worked together and pulled it off and you were fantastic, great hand. I truly appreciate it. Thanks, we, got, we got it done quick. Yeah. yeah. I would say realistically, if, if we turn back the, the, the clock, it, it probably took us one week of, of work. And granted, it might have been, I think we've decided it was like 12 days, but some of them days were one hour, yeah. three hours, yeah. wind storms, rain storms. I'd say probably a cumulative time between us, 50 hours probably together. So 100 hours probably, honestly, between yeah. the two of us. I would say yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, and that's that's where we are today. Obviously, we still got a few nicks and knacks to finish up. But but this thing has already had... You guys have slept in it already? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we slept one night in it already, took it into Phoenix and hung out a AAA bus. Yeah, it was like we, we weren't able to get a place to uh, <laughs> for you guys to crash. It's like, why don't you just take the minibus? Right. Yeah. yeah. And like, it worked out great. <laughs> yeah. It's like it was, it was ready to have its yeah. first sleepover. Yeah. Sure. And it, so, and it went well. Yeah, no running water or electricity in here yet, but it, it was, you know, it, it, it sufficed. We had a nice, soft, cozy bed, and it was warm, and it was awesome. Well, yeah. water's water's coming up soon. Aaron yeah. from uh, Broccoli Bus, I think he's getting here eventually, and he's going to do the solar, so it's not that much longer. No, I'm going to get the water. fully livable. I'm getting the water plumbed today and getting the, heater put in, the hot water heater put in place, and, um, yeah, do some plumbing on that. So the water system should be pretty much up to par. And then yeah. after solar, if we have enough time before California paint and this thing is like road, it's it's ready, ready for somebody to. Mm -hmm. to do we live. know? Do we know who the first somebody is? We do, but that's still a little under wraps. Secret. That's a secret. That's right. We got to keep something secret. Mm -hmm. that's right. um, Chris, what was your favorite part about this? Uh, to be honest, the the daydreaming of how it'll be used because yeah. this this project was. Uh, I don't know if I actually told you guys, but I might. I don't know if I actually told you, 
why, why this is coming about. So my first van trip, I remember, I don't remember exactly where I was at, but it was heavily forested and I was going over a bridge as it came on the podcast or audio book. But basically the person asked like, what, what, what would you do if you didn't get paid? Like if it was just like something you could do and convince people to live this lifestyle. And at that point I thought it was going back to school to be a high school counselor to tell kids like, Hey, go, go out there and travel like the world's big out there. Then I realized like high school kids are gonna be like, yeah, whatever. dude. <laughs> yeah. So this is just a manifestation of that now in the future with different business opportunities I've had and just have the financial gamble to put something like this together to give people the opportunity to travel. So this is something that I've always wanted to do. So watching it come together and then, like I said, just daydreaming of what it actually be like for people to do this, people to get this and just travel that wouldn't otherwise have the option and see what they do with it. See if they start their own business, see if they start their own YouTube channel or social media or blog that sets them off to be able to do this full time. That's probably my favorite. I yeah, like but. that. I like that. And, and uh, me and Wes were actually talking yesterday. I actually have Lax and Gamble tattooed on my arm. And, and, and mm -hmm. the way you said, like, it, this is a gamble. Like, it's a gamble for all of us, you know? Um, we've obviously all lived in a bus now. We all know mm -hmm. what it's like, but it is a gamble to, to put put a bunch of money into a school bus and hit the road and, and things like that. And for you, it's a gamble to kind of front this and, and hopefully inspire others and, and, and hopefully show people that they can do this. And, and mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty cool. We all kind of took a gamble to be here and we've all kind of manifested this. Uh, obviously your, your dream and your, we kind of all made it a reality. Appreciate it. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate you guys. You guys work. <clears throat> Thank you for right. doing this video. Yeah. And yeah, thanks uh, for having us. Yeah. I think my video. favorite part was just becoming yeah, closer with you guys, mm -hmm. getting to know you guys more. Mm -hmm. I learned a ton enough that I was able to then take knowledge over into my bus and, and right. do some for myself and yeah. Yeah, it's just it's nothing but awesomeness since since we showed up over here. So thank you guys. Yeah, we truly you. appreciate it. You bet. And uh, that's all we got. Cool. All right. Spread love. See you guys. See ya.